Hey guys, this is Sam, and today I want to talk about gestures on the iPhone 10 and how they're going to work. Clearly, since there is no home button, the entire front of the iPhone 10 is all screen. You're not going to be able to just click something and go back to the home screen or go into multitasking, and even accessing Control Center and Notification Center looks to be a little bit different. All right, so just the other day on Twitter, the same iOS developer who shared a ton of details about the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10 from the HomePod firmware and previous iOS 11 leaks has shared some new information about gestures and how they will work on this device with a home button. Taking the place of the home button on the iPhone 10 is going to be this little bar or notch at the bottom of the screen that's going to be present most of the time unless you're inside of an application, but nothing involves a single tap like the iPhone 7's home button or even like the full screen view on the Galaxy S8. Everything is a swipe or a drag. It's going to be really interesting because this will be the first iPhone in forever that requires a learning curve. Somebody who picks this up for the first time won't necessarily know how to use it innately. We've had a button forever, obviously you press that to go back to what you you were doing before, go back to somewhere. But now you've just got a line at the bottom of the screen that I don't think people will necessarily know how to use right off the bat. So when you're using the iPhone 10 and you're inside of an app, how are you gonna get back to the home screen? You're gonna drag the little bar at the bottom of the screen up and then release. It's a pretty simple gesture, but because that's how you go back to the home screen now by swiping and releasing from the bottom of the screen, how are you gonna get to Control Center? Because that's how we've accessed Control Center since iOS 7. Well, it looks like that has been relocated to the very top right hand corner of the screen on the right side of the top notch, you swipe down and then you get to control center from there. My only concern with this is that because the iPhone's 10 display is so big, I feel like sometimes you're gonna have to shimmy your phone to get to control center in the top right hand corner. I really wish that you could relocate it to the bottom right hand corner and there's a chance that, that could be coming in a software update or maybe Apple is working to implement that somehow in the future, but right now it looks like the default will be control center is now in the top right hand corner, which might be a struggle to reach sometimes. So now we know how to get back to the home screen, we know how to get to control center, but how do we get to the multitasking view or app switcher. You're going to do that by doing a very similar gesture to going back to the home screen, but instead of releasing, you're going to hold it in the middle of your screen and the app switcher should appear right here. Some app cards pop in. You can actually notice that the UI here on the iPhone 10 is a little bit different than on other iOS devices. All of the app cards are rounded to match the rounded display, which looks really nice. Before I knock this feature, I don't want to say that there's a better way to do it because I can't think of one myself, but I could see it getting potentially annoying that if you just want to go back to the home screen, you're not paying attention for a second, you leave your finger on the screen, and then you're in the app switcher instead of on the home screen like you wanted to be. One last question that we have not talked about yet is how you use Siri on the iPhone 10. In addition to being able to say, hey Siri, like you have for the past few years, it has been relocated to the side button. Instead of holding down the home button for three seconds, hold down the side button on the right side of the iPhone 10 and then ask Siri whatever you want to ask. I think this is a pretty good implementation. There's the chance that it could get a little bit confusing if you're trying to shut down your device. Maybe Siri will activate instead, but it's another workaround that I think will be mostly fine. As of right now, those are all the gestures that we know about so far on the iPhone 10. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful, it always helps me out if you drop a like down below. Let me know what you think about these by leaving a comment, and of course, subscribe for more videos on the iPhone 10 in the future. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.